What's up, YouTube? So, as y'all know, we got the starter done on the car. Took it for a drive. Womp, womp, womp. Starter's fine. It works good. Uh, had thermostat go bad, so. See if we can get thermostat put on this thing. So, stay with us. Hey, puppies. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we got the car back home. Uh, that was fun. Cut off, let it coast. Cut off, let it coast. But hey, we got it back home. Car actually rolls really, really well. Surprisingly, I haven't had to roll it, so. But it rolls really well. Anyway, we're gonna go up here and put some aluminum welding today. Might, when this thing cools off, might mess with it a little bit. Uh, got a thermostat, should be here today. We might just take this one out for a little bit while it's winter time. Go from there and see how it does. But anyway, we're going to mess with some aluminum welding today. When that thing cools off, we'll, uh, we'll come out here and take the thermostat off of it. It's super, super easy on this thing. I'll show you. Let me show you how easy this thing is on this one. So on this one, look at that. Shoo. Need to do a flush on it. Boom. Two bolts. And it's o-ring but the good news is is we were in boost pretty pretty good today me and dad was and still no oil so i say no oil it's got oil in it but no no oil like this is all good to go everything some of that that's probably from the water dripping but yeah so we're good to go on that thank goodness so well uh this thing cools down we'll let it cool i'll leave the hood up let it cool off and then we'll jerk this thermostat out and see what it looks like like I said, I'll either put it back with that one or I'll, uh, I'll put, I think I got a one, uh, I think I got a 180 coming. Factory is like a 195, I think, 192, 195. I think I got a 180 coming for it. See if we can get this thing to run a little cooler. But we're soon at the thermostat anyway, so we'll go there, see if that's what it is. So I guess one plus to being like, uh, I don't know what you call us, country boys porters whatever you want to call us is uh when we do want to play with stuff like welders and stuff like that we always got some old junk laying around we can practice some welding on this is a uh i want to say this is a front part to a uh dodge d50 1982 83 somewhere in there for uh Five speed, either a four speed or a five speed. They had, uh, I think they had the same cases. I know they had the same bell housing. They were on the same motor. But anyway, so what this is, this is off of old 82 Dodge D50 that I had. And uh, when transmissions would break, they was really hard to find. So we would, uh, honestly, we would take a two wheel drive transmission and take the gears out of it and use the back, use the main shaft and stuff to fix my four-wheel drive transmission when it would break. So we, we did many of them. Actually, I say we, Dad. Dad done most of that. So, because that's honestly the first transmission I ever did by myself. So we're going to take a wire wheel of this thing, clean it up a little bit, set up the spool gun. Got my argon. We're going to try out, see how, we're, how we can do some uh, aluminum beads. I didn't even take a grinder and, and cut a slice in it down through here somewhere and uh, try to weld it up and see how it does. So see what we can do. All right, y'all, we're getting it. So this one was too low voltage, too low wire speed. Same thing there, moving too fast there. The voltage was a little better. Wire speed was, I was just moving too fast. That's probably my best one yet. We turned the wire speed up a little bit. It looks bubbled up, but it really ain't bubbled too bad. And we got some penetration. We did do one here. That was the very first stuff we done. We just filled this hole in to see if it would, penetrate we took a screwdriver with a hammer on this side and it would move the whole case before so it's definitely penetrating so we're gonna play a little more i got plenty of room to clean up and weld and doing crevices and all kind of stuff try this out so see what we can do all right y'all so you don't laugh at me too much i want to show you all these wells like i said it's the first time i've done aluminum and uh i'm not gonna hide anything from y'all so i just want y'all to see how how this went today so, as I showed you a minute ago, we welded that shut. I don't remember which ones were on here, which ones wasn't. This is honestly, this is the last one I did. 
and it's actually it's not real tall penetrated pretty good and those are a couple this one i had uh the wire speed too low same with that one and just messing around just different gas settings which i didn't change the gas a whole lot but different polarity settings different wire speed different voltages you see some of them look like teetotal crap but I'm pretty that one looks pretty decent ain't too bad i might play with a little bit more so i didn't video it I, it was something crazy quick but i got a thermostat on the way it'll be here tonight sometime uh ash is gonna bring it but we took it out and it did look like the thermostat was sticking so what we did is we uh took it out cut the back side off pulled all the internals out of the thermostat we're gonna put some water in it we're gonna fire it up and see if it'll flow see if it'll flow we got it back on though so sorry i didn't video that for you but we did we just took the thermostat out cut the back of it off took the spring and element and everything out of it so it'll just be open flow i would have took the whole thermostat out but these things the they don't actually have like a gasket the thermostat has an o-ring on it to uh to keep it sealed up so we just cut the thermostat apart to where it'll be open all the time or well there's nothing in it it's empty so let's fire it up or well, let's get some water fired up and see if it'll flow water all right y'all as you can see i'm in the house what are you building over here crowd killer what you got I mean, GT500, this is what I've got so far. I know it looks like an Austin Mar or an Vantage. Vantage, whatever you say, call it. This thing is a little, it's a Lego thing. That, Just the uh, book is big. And uh, that's what it's supposed to look like. It's got a, one of those things where you pull it back and then you has got a button you can mash yeah, to make it go. So anyway, I'm inside because we took the car for a test drive. And uh, it's no bueno. We got to, uh, it's got a blown head gasket. So, I guess we're going to be fixing that. So, that's going to be it for this one. But maybe he'll get that built sometime in the next year. Oh, I will. I just got the, uh, uh, I got the, whatchamacallit, the, the dash. The dash and, and the steering column. So we went for a ride in the car, and after I took the thermostat, or well, made the thermostat where it was open. I can make it a right-hand drive. And uh, we uh, was coming up the road, come on the road, started running hot, so our course cut off, coasted as far as I could. We got to the garage and started up, and it was uh, white smoke and steaming, so it's definitely a blowhead gasket. So I we'll, uh, guess we'll have to fix that. Y'all can see the journey. <laughs> so we'll... Uh, Get everything ordered, and I guess we'll do a head gasket on this thing. So, anyway, appreciate you watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Thank you.